Many otherwise successful businesses fail because partners have a falling out. Today we're going to talk about how to choose the right partner to make your business successful. Welcome to Grow Time, where we talk about business, marketing, and technology, so you can grow from average Joe to CEO. Working with a business partner can increase the success of any venture, because not everybody is great at everything. But finding the right partner is not easy. I've been lucky with my business partner, Zevi Friedman. Zevi Friedman is personable, he's smart, he's capable, and he loves helping people just like me. Here is what I look for in a business partner and what you should look for to help your business succeed. First and foremost, you have to pick a person with the right credibility and the right skills to help you grow your business. I know that you're tempted to use your friend because you already have chemistry with your friend and you love spending time with them. But guess what? Your friend may not be the right person. They may not have the skills to help you meet your goals. And if the person doesn't have the skills and they don't have the right attitude, guess who's going to be picking up the slack when it comes to zero hour? You. Choose a partner that is financially stable. If your business isn't profitable right away, the person that you're partnered with might bail if they can't make ends meet. The best thing to do is to find somebody who matches your financial situation. Choose a partner that knows how to handle their personal problems. Starting any business is difficult and it takes a lot of time and energy. And if somebody has a tremendous amount of personal problems, they're not going to be able to invest their time or emotions into helping you grow your business. Here's a final tip that I can give you. A lot of times you start a business, you start a venture, and you just trust the other person. That's why you're becoming their partner. But what about getting everything down in writing? A lot of people don't want to do it because they think it's not trusting the other person to have to write it down or to go legal. Well, that's where a lot of problems arise. If everything is written down, you won't have any problems in the future because you'll just turn to a piece of paper that says, you get this, I get this, you do this, I do this, and we're all happy because we agreed to those terms. Think about it, it makes sense. We'll see you next week, same time, same place, Thursday at noon on growtime.tv, where we help grow your business, one entrepreneur at a time. Tell me what you think about getting a business partner. Tell me what you think about business, and let me know what you wanna see in future Grow Time episodes. Don't forget to go to www.growtime.tv and subscribe to our newsletter so you could stay in the know and grow from average Joe, say it, that's right, to CEO.